Well, after the last video I did where I talked about performance, the truck stop, and did a uh, bit of prospecting at the end, I had a lot more thoughts and I wanted to kind of reconvey my feelings on prospecting because prospecting is something that it, I really look forward to doing properly and there's a lot of different things that need to kind of fall into place for this to kind of be proper and and be the gameplay that I think everybody really kind of wants it to be. Right now, while prospecting is fun, it's more of a novelty, in my opinion, because you can't really properly prospect. And I've said this many times in the live streams and over 3.2 and everything when uh, you were first given the ability to go down to planets and actually try to, quote unquote, mine things. Right now, you don't really mine things. And it's a very, very early implementation of two systems. One, the actual mining. And two, scanning. Right now, these two systems are very rudimentary. And taking all of it into consideration, I wanted to kind of point where I would like to see these things go. Because if you look at the ad material for first the prospector and then even the Kraken recently, they show these prospectors with their lasers pointed straight down into the ground, just drilling a hole. They're essentially literally mining a vein out of the planet's crust. That, to me, is true mining. What we're doing now is more scavenging from rocks and things, and that may help you find a vein, but it's not true mining, and it's not really prospecting either. And I know that the proper drilling and all of that really isn't in place, and they've talked about interchangeable lasers and other things for the prospector, and I look forward to all of that in the future, but the gameplay is very difficult to really do at the moment because you can't fully prospect so in the video that i'm showing now this is shot the very next day after i shot the last video and i went over to damar to see if i could find some better ore selling is really not a good place to mine at least not the areas i have found so i was a little more strategic in it and i decided to go for impact craters canyons and i still wasn't finding a lot of good stuff i found better things but i really hadn't found a lot of really good solid items for me to mine until i found this rock which had a lot of titanium and some gold in it so i figured okay let's tear it apart and in prospecting to really actually make any money be it from an asteroid or from a rock on the surface you have to be picky about what you take you can't just show up and suck up any old thing you want to fracture the rock into all the little pieces and then pick and choose the right pieces that have the most ore for you to collect. The higher the percentage of ore, the less inert material you take, the higher your potential profit. Now this ties back into another system that's not quite in place that is one that I'm really desperately wanting right now, and that's the filtration system within the prospector to function. I know I've seen on Spectrum several times that they say right now it's not ready and they're probably going to overcomplicate it and make it ridiculous, but they could have done something to give us that level of gameplay to allow us to actually prospect. Because if you watch this one, I cut out a ton of stuff. Because I looked at probably 30 different rocks in the span of half an hour before I settled on picking this one. And I got really lucky with this one. This is a pretty good rock. I'd passed up a few others that were decent. And had I fractured those all the way apart, I probably could have taken something that maybe had 35 40% of the material in it, but I settled on this one particular rock. And the reason I, you have to be very careful is because you cannot suck up a lot of stuff because everything is the inert material. So the filtration system. My reasoning for them kind of gimping this gameplay right now, the reason I believe they did it is because they're going to overcomplicate it and they didn't really think of a proper system to do it. But there's really an easy way that they could give us this gameplay so that the prospectors could stay out in the field a hell of a lot longer and actually go prospecting, sample a whole lot of things and bring that back for a decent profit. That's what prospecting is. If you look back at the California gold rush, or any gold rush really, people were panning for gold in a river. You could just get a plate out of your kitchen, go to a river, pick up some rocks, sift it, and grab the little pieces of gold. You weren't bringing a ton back, but what you were bringing back was highly valuable raw material. Now a ship like the Orion or a full-on mining ship is going to be able to process the crap away, refine the ore into ingots and, or something a lot more valuable, and then sell it for a higher profit. But they're also potentially going to be able to do something more along the lines of strip mining, where instead of breaking apart an asteroid, they'll just eat the asteroid. Potentially. Or essentially, as the case may be, because it's such a big, massive mining vessel. But little ships like this rely on the ability to sift out the stuff you don't want 
and grab what you do want. And you can kind of do that here where you see I'm pulling in some of the rocks that I want and leaving some of the ones that are empty or very low percentage on the ground. But as a way to kind of get around this, SIG easily could have taken a mathematical equation and applied a percentage to it. So if you're panning for gold in a river, you're going to take a plate full, pull it up, you're going to sift through the rock, you're going to discard that, and you're going to pick out the little pieces you want with your fingers, and the rest is going to go away. I could be more accurate with a pickaxe and a chisel than this fancy ship and its lasers cutting everything apart. So in my opinion, they should simply apply a percentage. So if you look at the rock that I'm cutting in now, 31.38% is titanium. Everything else is wasteful inert material. So if, if we say that the 70 remaining percent of that rock is inert material, take 75% of the 70 and throw it away. Just get rid of it. This way, I'm still pulling in some inert material while the proper filtration system and the actual mechanics are put in place, but it allows me to actually sift away some of that raw crap that nobody wants and a real miner wouldn't be bringing back and actually source more material. If that was applied in this way, I probably would have only filled one of my four saddlebags with this one particular rock. That's half an hour of gameplay that it spent that I spent trying to get to this one rock. If you applied that to each of your four saddlebags, that's almost two potential hours of field work, prospecting, searching, exploring, seeing the sights, enjoying the game. As it stands now, you could fly down to a planet, hit up three, four rocks, fill yourself up in half an hour, fly back to Olazar, or less, you could even do it in 15 minutes probably, still sell it for a reasonable profit, but you're not really prospecting. You're just skimming the surface, grabbing a few things out of one or two rocks, and leaving again. If you were actually able to prospect, it would really make the gameplay a lot more fun, and you would feel a little more isolated, zipping off to far corners of asteroids, being more aware of enemy players in the area, because now you can just suck up a couple of rocks, zip back to Olazar, and you're okay. But if you spent hours out there investing your time in sucking up this material, scanning for good rocks, really looking for what you're doing, a, you're taking a huge personal risk, and B, you're potentially raking in some massive profit as a single player. And that's the benefit of prospecting. Look at the gold rush. How many people got stupid rich by just sifting for gold in a river on a dinner plate? Now, if we look at the haul that I got off of this run, I did pretty stinking good because once I pull it up, you'll see... I picked and choose the, the items I want and I filled my ship up even though over f almost 60% of my cargo hold is wasted material, I still made 10,500 UEC on that haul. That's an amazing amount of profit. Had I been a little more picky and picked up some other stuff, I could have reduced that inert material. Now if you apply that 75% rule, I would still have probably another 25% cargo space if not double. I probably would only have brought back 25% inert material and had even more, which could have given me potentially 16 to 20,000 UECs worth of revenue on this run. So the potential of it is amazing, but they really kind of cut some corners, and that's where I want to see them get it fixed so that we can properly prospect. Now, this is just part one. I want to go out there and do a bit more, but I'm also going to tie in some asteroids in the next one because asteroid mining is also another way to make a stupid amount of money in this game. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.